John Fetterman, you may have heard, is seeking the help he so desperately needed in getting his depression um, worked on in patient care at a hospital. So this is serious stuff for we have no idea how long. And I don't know about you guys, but if this were happening to my husband, who had just had a serious stroke within the past year, and now my husband's back in the hospital for the second time in a month because Fetterman had to return to the hospital before the depression for stroke complications of some sort, I'd be right there. I would be with him. I would be at least swinging by every day. Maybe I'd be bringing him his favorite candy or just holding his hand. Well, you're not if you're Giselle Fetterman. Uh, Duncan, I saw you having a particularly interesting reaction to this online. Um, well, just so I'm, the yeah. audience knows, <laughs> Giselle Fetterman has decided to not go to the hospital, but go to Canada. She has taken her children, she has gone to Canada, and she is posting pictures and videos of them zip lining uh, over Niagara Falls. <laughs> Niagara Falls. We, we have a soundbite of it. We pulled a soundbite. That's even better. Let's watch. Went zip lining over the falls. And August got stuck. They're trying to rescue him now. Good times. So fun. John, who? <laughs> I mean, this is such a pattern that you see with her where, I mean, it almost became a, a running joke of every photo that she would take with Fetterman was a selfie of herself and then maybe a little bit of Fetterman's head in the photo. Be like, hey, we're doing great. <laughs> and like, whose first instinct when their husband is admitted to a hospital is round up the kids, get the passports, leave the country. <laughs> and then says, you know, I want my privacy respected. Here's selfies of us going over Niagara. Right, right. See, that's <laughs> that's the thing. It's, it's one thing to abscond with your children while your husband's battling depression inpatient in the hospital, but then to document the whole thing on social media and clout chase off the fact that your husband, who had a stroke, who had to be admitted for chest pains or whatever, and then back for clinical depression, and you're at Niagara Falls. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. And I think the comment I made on Twitter, and I'm not a lawyer here, Megan, so you know, let me know if this is possible, but any good prenup, I would think this sort of behavior would annul the marriage. <laughs> at least if I had a prenup, this would definitely be in there ironclad. Because if you're not with me in the hospital holding my hand after I've had a stroke or something like that, it's gone. It's well, over. It's it's you're it's definitely done. out of the will, right? You are out of the will. I, I think you legally, left the country. It's death or Niagara Falls could do us part, right? Like that's, <laughs> that's what it's it. official legal <laughs> is. Like she that's literally true. left the, the country. You're right. It's the thing that it looks like a pattern because he was suffering very clearly in the aftermath of that stroke. And this woman seemed to be power hungry. She seemed to be dragging him across the finish line along with these other Dems who were going to get that seat come hell or high water. And now they have the nerve to talk about the Republicans as though they're being really cruel about this whole Fetterman thing. Like, they're being really heartless in even raising any questions at all about his mental health or his health in general. And it's like, I was reading this thinking, the Republicans are being cruel. First of all, the Republicans are not mocking Fetterman for having had a stroke or having depression. They're wondering whether he was properly elected, whether he should have been dragged across the finish line, or whether this is just a pack of vultures around him. And, and you've got, instead, the, the, the Democrats looking at the Republicans like, how could you? How dare yeah. you? What Democrats always gloss over is the fact that they had plenty of time to find another Democrat to run for Senate in Pennsylvania. It didn't have to be him. They could have taken better care of him and they could have put somebody else up for that very, very stressful experience between the summer and the fall. Well, and the truth is they probably wanted to, right? I mean, there was no public reports that would indicate that, but but they actually recruited a challenger to Fetterman who they thought was, you know, as a sitting congressman, Connor, a much, Lamb. Connor Lamb, a much more formidable candidate against Oz or, or whomever than Fetterman himself. And so I'm, I'm certain the conversation was had, which makes all of this so much worse, right? Because you expect at some level, the Democratic Party and Chuck Schumer and all those folks to be soulless, completely power hungry idiots without the best interests of John Fetterman in mind. What you do not expect is that John Fetterman's wife would be down for the ride, which she clearly right. was throughout, you know? And, and now you see this post-election after the, everybody had assured us that he's totally fine and he's wandering the halls of the Senate 
I mean, literally incoherent. Reporters can't ask him questions. He can't go to committee hearings. They're trying to figure out ways for him to like be able to read and follow along, but there's no clear indication well, that that's and, even true. And, and that's, I mean, I think clear, uh, this is conjecture, but I assume him grappling with his own limitations, many of which could, could possibly be permanent, is where this clinical depression comes into play. Because like when you have a stroke, there is a six month window where you can get back fun cognitive function and ability. After six months, if you read any medical journal or anything, after six months, it gets much, much, much more difficult. After six months is pretty much where you're going to shake out yeah. back with your mm -hmm. cognitive, cognitive function. And so I think he, he has to wrestle with the fact that he, he could have ruined his chances to gain back more function by continuing on with this very stressful job of running for United States Senate. And maybe his wife had something to do with that. I don't know. But it's, I mean, it makes you just feel shitty about the whole thing. And the way the media you portrayed were used, it, like, and, uh, folks like Kara Swisher say that this is no different than someone needing eyeglasses. Oh, yeah. Like, he's not that. facing any kind of a setback that, you know, in six months, he'll be completely normal. And what he has, like, because during the debate, which, I mean, I think that debate told you everything about what the condition was like and like how outlandish it is to force this guy to continue running. Uh, journalist said that, oh, this is completely normal. He's being given, you know, special allowance. Like he can read what is being said during the debate. It's no different than if you needed glasses or a hearing aid. We're seeing that is quite different. Right. Quite different. They may have permanently mm -hmm. mentally crippled this man to win a Senate race. That's what that's. I mean, that's, that's psych like. psychotic. That's what that well, like what Correct. led us into all of this. I, I, I expect that from Chuck Schumer. Yeah, I expect that from the leaders of the Democratic Party. What blows my mind is that you've got this lady who claims to be, you know, in love with this guy who's been along for the ride the whole way. And then the moment he checks himself into Walter Reed, which, by the way, if you're checking in inpatient for depression, a very serious thing is going on here. Yeah, right. And and she is all of a sudden taken to Canada, go zip lining with the kids. Like, look, I understand as a mom, as a parent, you have an obligation to try to keep your kids mentally and and, you know, prepared for what's happening to their father. I get that. But then selfies and right, doing the right, Instagram right. That's, that's, and all of that. And by it's the way, like, they're in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's got like the greatest water parks on earth. Like right. go over to Kalahari. Do, do some fun zip lining there, which you can. Do some ski. It's actually an amazing resort. You can ski. You can zip line. You can do water park, uh, water rides. Second to none. I love Kalahari. I do not care about the feces in the pool. It's not a Kalahari <laughs> thing. It's a water park thing. Um, anyway, um, I mean, the saying, they, got amazing, like, they, they asked Giselle, they're like, your, your husband's just been admitted to Walter Reed. What are you going to do next? And she says, I'm going to Disney. <laughs> That's not right. the typical yeah. response. Yeah. Right, it's like, what, why remove your children? Like anybody who's sad, any parent who's sad, you know what makes you happier? Your children. They're like just getting a glimpse yeah. of your children or your lover, your loved one, you know, your sweetheart. You know, if I, if I ever have a stroke or if I'm in the hospital for severe depression, Bring my sweetheart by. Let let me sit with Doug for a little while. He'll know exactly what to do. You put on a little My Cousin Vinny, or you put on Overboard, or you put on Wonka, whatever. Classic. One hour of that stuff, I already feel better. Um, not Giselle Fetterman, off of the zip line. And so funny, while I complain about the media being in my driveway, I'm going to post my Instagram selfies of not just me, but my children too. And this, as Dick Durbin, he's the one who said it. Um, he comes out with, uh, hold on, let me find it. Oh. I really wish his critics would show a little bit of humanity. As if the Republicans are out there like, ha, 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 he's depressed. That's not what's happening. No, in fact, it's incredibly sad. I mean, they're the ones that put him in this position. Like, I don't understand it. You have no introspection whatsoever about taking a man who is basically fighting for his life during the course of a campaign, knowing that you were talking about like a six-month window for him to actually recover, putting him in the, probably the most stressful environment that you can have as a professional in this country and then coming out the back end in a in a bad spot right being checked in and all these guys are like oh these republicans how the hell do you make that a partisan issue no, that's the thing is like not. so much of the left wing now is just emotional blackmail if you yeah. don't do what we say you are cruel or a racist heartless so they did this whole charade during the campaign where they said if you ask any questions of whether this man is fit to serve you're cruel you're a bad person. You're not allowed to ask that question. Voters, people of Pennsylvania, Americans, you're not allowed to ask those questions. Now we're seeing the results of that. Line They're doing, doing the same that. playbook. They're like, you're not allowed yeah. to question him. This is very cruel. There's something about Niagara Falls that makes the truth come out. Like you can ask those questions from the falls while on a zip line. <laughs> while, I can't, we'll, we'll get the rules straight by the end of his 
uh, his time, <laughs> hopefully, in the hospital. What does it sound like when you find the secret to great skincare? Here's Mary and her husband from Faith, North Carolina, to tell you. My husband and I both noticed, she writes, that our skin is softer and smoother after having used the GenuCell products faithfully for a few weeks. Our skin looks brighter, our wrinkles look softer and less noticeable, and the bags under my eyes are less visible. So happy. Best of all, she continues, they are easy to use and apply, even for my husband. GenuCell products target all your problem areas, like Mary's, plus dark spots, skin redness, and even a sagging jawline. GenuCell works for men and women of all skin types, and with its immediate effects product, see results in 12 hours guaranteed or your money back. Right now, GenuCell's most popular package, all their best stuff, includes their new probiotic extract moisturizer for visibly healthier, more youthful-looking skin free. Go to GenuCell.com slash MK60. GenuCell.com slash MK60 for surprise savings at checkout. And for a limited time, any subscription order will include a a free beauty box plus free shipping. G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash MK60. Check it out now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.